Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to teach you how to design a beautiful Power BI report on a mobile layout. Before we get started, quick question. Do you use a mobile phone? How about your coworkers? How about your boss? The truth is that almost everyone uses a mobile phone. And that's the reason that I'm creating this tutorial, because I'm going to teach you how to design a beautiful report so everyone can take advantage from their phone. So are you ready? Let's do this. So this is the report that we have right here on the screen. And the goal is to have a good looking mobile layout. And let's take a look at the mobile layout feature real quick. Hit on view right here and then hit mobile layout. And let's see what happens. So for now, we don't have anything yet, but the main goal is to have something like this. Let me show you real quick. Let's go back to the report real quick and let's start playing with it. And the first step here to start designing your reports is to start dragging the visuals, everything that is here into the mobile layout cameras. So it's quite straightforward. And let's get started with this image right here. Okay. Check this out. And then how about the logo? So we can do that as well. And then we need to drag this other visual right here. I like this tool because it's quite flexible. In the September 2022 Power BI update, these features have been improved and it's generally available, okay? So, which is good. So the next thing that we wanna do here is to grab this text and then you can make changes here. How about 20 here? There you go. So it looks so much better. And then you can also rearrange this. So in that way, it looks so much better. So we are done with this part. The second part here is to insert another image, which is the one right here. Check this out. And remember, before you start designing your reports, it can be just in Power BI Desktop or um, mobile layout, you have to have a general idea about your final outcome. For this particular case, we're gonna add here the slicers. So we're gonna do that, check this out. So every single visual is here. So you just need to drag and drop. Okay, so let's look for sales territory. So it should be right here. All uh, let's play with this real quick. And as you can see, once you select this visual, so automatically you have pictures here. Uh, let's select the header. This is actually period. So we wanna have that. And then we're gonna add this right here. Keep, and you can keep editing here, okay? So how about values? Let's add for now number eight. And also for header, let's also select number eight. So in that way we have enough space to add another slicer, okay? And you can send it right there. Let's add another slicer real quick. How about this one right here? Let's see. Because we care about sales territory. Uh-huh. Uh it seems like this is the one. And then we're going to drag this into here. And we're going to edit this slicer as well. Should be number eight. So once you start editing your visuals, automatically this option right here, this feature, you can see like a mobile phone, like a mini mobile phone right there. This means that you are editing that visual, okay? And then let's keep editing here also for values, number eight, font size. And once we are done, let's arrange this a little bit better. We have the slicers and then the next step is to add three different cards. We can do that as well. So let's add this image right here. This is gonna be the background. 
And let's add the other one. We're going to add three, okay? Three right here. Three right there. And then we can select all of them real quick. Hold down control and select all of them. Then go to general properties. And then for height, we're going to select 180. Okay. And then for width, it's going to be 108. So we are good there. Perfect. The next step here is to add text. So let's do that. Uh, what is the text? So we care about profit comparison. We can do that as well. Just drag this into the canvas. And also you can edit this, right? How about 8 for now? And then you can start rearranging this a little bit better. Perfect. So the other one, the other text that we want to have here is profits. So let's drag profits into the canvas as well. And let's select here 8 as well. Rearrange this a little bit better. There you go. How about that? And the other text that we want to have here is sales. Because we care about profits and sales, right? Very similar here. Select the font size, number 8. Rearrange this a little bit better. So you can see how flexible this tool is, right? Perfect. Now let's add the the other visuals, okay? The other images here. How about KPI? We have this right here. This fancy image. It is right there. For profits, we're going to add this image right here. And then for sales, we're going to add this one right here. But you can get the point, right? And then the next step here is to add the values, the cards, right? How about this one right here? And we can make changes here as well because this is too too big, font size. For values here, let's see, call out value. How about 20? And let's see how it goes. That looks a little bit better. So let's see what happens. Let's rearrange this. Maybe... 18 for now okay uh, let's see let's move this a little bit right there there you go perfect how about profits for profits we're gonna drag this number right here and also we're gonna start playing with the color value how about 20 we can go from there 20 is fine and then the other one is going to be sales so let's drag sales into the canvas 20 here the font size rearrange this a little bit better there you go perfect okay let's move this Okay, perfect. So this is looking good, right? Uh, let's see. Next step. So let's add a couple more visuals. And this is just the, the background that we want to have for this visual. Let's add another one here. Okay. So let's customize these ones right here. Let's go to properties. And then the height, this is going to be 300. And now we are good to go, my friends. So the width is fine. Okay, perfect. And then we want to insert this visual right here. Just drag it. And also you can start editing this one right here. Let's say that we wanna we wanna change the title. We can do that. So select the visual here, go to general title. This is gonna be profit. Profit sales and cost by country, for example. Right? 
there it is so we are making changes just uh, to the mobile layout we are not changing we are not changing anything on the power bi desktop layout okay just keep that in mind so the next visual so we're gonna drag this one right here and let's see what happens and then we can also add this one right here like I said this is just up to you and then let's the border how about 85 percent transparency and then we can add the text right here if you have comments you can add right here right and like I said we can edit this if we want check this out perfect so now you have this good looking power bi report on a mobile layout so we have right here the name of the report slicers key performance indicators and then we also have a couple of visuals and then we also have some text some comments about the report so we can do that and like i said we are making changes just for the mobile layout before we close with this tutorial i want to show you another feature it's called selection let's hit selection here and once you hit selection there is a new pane here you can rearrange the visual layering here so let's say that for example here this is the shape right you don't want to see this one right here so what you can do is go to the bottom so you don't see this anymore right go to here now it's back so you can play with the layers here so this is also a cool feature how about the logo you don't want to see the logo there you go no more logo you want to see the logo again go back there it is so that's how it works it's a cool feature okay so now let's export this to power bi service and then let's visualize the report on a mobile layout okay let's hit publish save the changes and we're going to select here our workspace mobile layout select it is saving success let's go to power bi service real quick here we are this is a report that we just published so let's open it there you go so the report is already in power bi service so now let's take a look at the report on a mobile layout check this out i'm opening the report right now there you go so we have the report internet cells is the name of the report and then we have also two different filters two slices there you can select any country right and you can start playing with that with the periods as well and then scroll down you can play with these visuals as well you have profits the current profits and also last year profits or previous year profits so you can play with that so you can keep playing with this and also you have the text there you go so let's say that we want to learn germany check this out so you can clearly see right so it's quite convenient so your boss can be traveling they can be just checking their forms and tracking the key performance indicators so this is an awesome feature and like i said you can keep playing with this and surprise anyone there you have it my friend i hope you found this tutorial helpful if so as always share with your friends don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything See you guys in my next tutorial.